let us take another question on how to use calculator to solve fraction questions. And this question, it reads, simplify. One whole number, one over two plus two whole number, one over four minus two over three, all divided by one over three times one over six divided by one over two. Let's see how to use a calculator to simplify such a question. To begin with, we will change the mode of the calculator or we will put the mode of the calculator to the comp mode. So press mode, then select number one, which is comp, C-O-M-P. Now that you have done that, you are good to input the fractions on the calculator. So we will start with the fraction key. Since if you check the question, you have to also do the fraction at the numerator and the fraction at the denominator. That is to say, the question has fractions on its own at the numerator and fractions on its own at the denominator. And in view of that, we'll have to use the fraction key in the beginning or as the beginning procedure. Now that the indicator is blinking at the top or the numerator of the fraction box, we will now input the first question, which is a mixed fraction. So we'll press the shift key and I will press the fraction key, giving us mixed fractions. And the mixed fraction is one whole number, shift the indicator to the right to get the top or the numerator box, which is one, bring the indicator down by shifting the arrow key to the right so that the indicator comes to the denominator of the fraction box. So we press two, since two is the number of the denominator. Now, press the arrow key to the right to take the indicator to the side of the fraction. The operational sign there is addition. Now press shift and press the fraction key. It will give you the mixed fraction since the question coming has the number as a mixed fraction. So two whole number is in the first part. Shift the arrow key to the right to get the indicator to the top. And then we press one, shift the arrow key to the right to bring the indicator to the bottom. And then we get four. Now we shift the arrow key to the right to get the indicator to the side of the fraction. We bring the operational sign minus then finally, the fraction there is 2 over 3. So we bring the fraction key, press the fraction key, and then you have 2 over 3. Now we have been able to do the questions, or we have been able to write all the fractions at the numerator of this question. Let's now get to the denominator of the question. To get to the denominator, we will shift the arrow key so that the indicator will come to the bottom. So shift the arrow key to the right two times for the indicator to drop to the bottom. And then there is a box. Since the fractions there are also fraction on their own, we will then press the fraction key. So the numbers there are fractions. So we have one over three. So you press one over three. Now that we have one over three, we press the indicator by using the right arrow. We take the indicator to the side of the fraction by pressing the right arrow. Then we press the multiplication sign. Then we bring the other fraction by pressing the fraction key. And then we have one over six. So we have one over six written. You press the right key. Using the right key, you will get the indicator to the side of the fraction. Then press the division, which is the operational sign there. The final fraction is supposed to be written. So press the fraction key. Then 1 over 2 is the fraction. Press 1 at the numerator. Then you press the arrow key to the right so that the indicator comes to the bottom. And finally, you press 2. So we have our question nicely written on the screen of the calculator. So if you can check it well, you realize that everything is intact. You can push it to the top to check the numerator question. Then we will finally press equal sign to get the final answer as 111 over 4. Since this is an improper fraction, we press the shift key and press the SD to get the mixed fraction form as 27 whole number 3 over 4. So the final answer is either 111 over 4 or 27 whole number 3 over 4. If you want the decimal to press the SD key without the shift, it will give you 27.75. That is a decimal. But the final answer is 111 over 4 or the mixed fraction, which is 27 over number 3 over 4. Thank you very much.